Okay, so we are going to be making a photo album using two different techniques in PowerPoint. So the first thing that I need you to do is um, on your, um, if you go to your File Explorer and you go to OneDrive, 2223 digital literacy quarter two and I want you to make a new folder in here and we're going to you can go up here and click on it or you can right click and say new folder and we're going to call it landforms now I need you to then to go to the internet and Um, you need to find 20 different types of landforms. I need pictures of them. So you can um, look up types of landforms. You can get all the different things. So if we use this one, we'll just use this one for right now. You're going to um, then go and find a picture of a volcano. Go to images, and then whichever one you like, you can click on it. Okay, so if you go over here to the volcano, you can right click on it. You're going to save image as. This is not a copy paste. If you've noticed, I haven't even opened PowerPoint yet. So you're going to go and you are going to find your um, landforms folder and hit save. So you need to have 20 different landforms and I need you to have a picture of them. You're going to put them in there. So that's the first thing you need to do. The second thing you need to do is if you go here and you find PowerPoint, we need the downloaded version of PowerPoint. And we're going to go ahead and just create a blank PowerPoint for right now. Oops, sorry about that. Wrong button. All right, there we go. All right, so um, what you will do is once you have all of your pictures done, you'll go to first, I would delete these so you click on it and hit delete and you go to insert and we're going to go here to photo album so we're going to make a new photo album and we're going to find our pictures Okay, so you will go and find your pictures. I already have a few that I have done. So um, I'm going to go ahead and select all of these and say insert. Now, this is where you can change it. I can take two of these and make a two picture slide. I can change what it looks like. I can go in and change the themes if that's what you want to do. Uh, we'll go with organic. And then if you hit create, it will put them in this way. Okay, so um, I need you to create at least 10 pictures using either two or three. Then what I need you to do is go and create a new, so we're going to insert a new blank slide. All right, I'm going to put it down here. And then we're going to go to insert pictures from this device. 
we're going to select the rest of the pictures, whatever you're going to do. I would say no more than six to eight, and I'll show you why in a second. So if I click insert, it's going to put them all here, which is fine. So now I want to select all of them. And we're going to go up here to picture layout. And as you click on these, okay, why is it behind it? All right, hold on. Oh, I don't have all the pictures selected. All right, so let's go back and select all the pictures. Uh, and then if we go to picture format, picture layout, now it will show you different ways that you can do this. All right, so we're going to pick, I, I kind of like this one. And we can move it over here. Trying to get the arrow so I can make it move it over. All right. Now, once I have this, if I click on this, I can now take and I can put what it is next to it. So this is the two ways you can make a Um, photo album. So you need to have all 20 of them. Okay. You can have probably up to six or eight on one slide that has the name of it and what it is. Then you can have the rest of them, at least two to a slide, three to a slide, change it around. And then you need to name your album land forms. You are saving it as DL2-1-5, I believe. Hold on, let's double check. No, four. And putting it in Schoology and in your quarter two folder. Over there, I put quarter one. All right, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.